Okay, so now we have our half inch slot and we're getting ready to do the buckle there. And we're going to demonstrate how to use a slot punch, little baby slot punch, uh, because we've already demonstrated how to do the rivet and scissors mechanism. So we're going to need a wood block for this. And we're going to need enough room here to fit one of our rivets. and then one of our slots, okay? And the idea here is we can cut this entire strap to the length we need after we've assembled the whole buckle. So you'll end up with like some little tiny floppy thing like this, and that will be sufficient. Okay, so first we're gonna set our rivet in place. Now we know how big our rivet head is. And then we're gonna use our half inch slot punch, just making sure it's even on both sides, and I'm going to adjust it so the camera can see better. So we've got our rivet, and then we're dividing our chisel. Right down the middle. Okay. So you just take the time to make sure it's right, because you only have to hit the hammer once, and you're ready but you can't undo it. So we're through. We took a little wood with us. That's good. And we have a nice clean cut. You can see here, uniform slot. And the camera won't pick it up, but there's a slight impression where I press down with the rivet. So we've already got our punch set to the right size for our rivet hole, so we can punch that. And then if you decide you want um, a rounded edge on this leather, I would trim that now with the scissors, just so when you rivet it down, it looks nice and elegant. Less work. Okay. So then we need to take our piece. And here is our this is another center bar buckle that we're using. And we just want to make sure that everything assembles the way we, we remember. So you want to sleeve in that cut slot, put the prong through that cut slot, and then sleeve it back through. And this is always really tricky because oftentimes it'll want to get stuck in your rivet hole. Just take your time. Um, the smaller this is, the more patience you need to have because uh, unless you have very, very tiny fingers, it can be a little tricky to pull this off. So, there we go. Everything is lined up the way we want, like so. Good clearance for our prong. We've got our hole right here. And now we can take our center punch, or our hole punch, and just set it up, squeeze and we're good to go. So again, um, you'll find you need at least an anvil's thickness to get above your material so you can do your riveting operation, right? So we know everything fits. We've got our snap. And now we're gonna come over to our anvil, like so. And then find the punch, rest it directly on that anvil anvil on an anvil, and then just a couple of taps. And it's set. So we have our tiny buckle, and we have our large buckle, and now we're ready to do the last of our fitting to make sure that the armor is laying the way we want.